tuned because this is about to get hot. What is the deal, folks? Of course, y'all can see by the title what I'm getting ready to do here. I uh, don't know how this is all going to go, but anyway, I'm going to go right on into it. This is Bill Burr, Why Men Are Paid More Than Women. And most likely, I'm probably not going to do no comedy after this. I'm just going to laugh and talk about what he's going to be talking about here. So anyway, it's all for comedy, folks. I'm about to go right on into it because I know some people will come out. That is so unfair. Da -da -da, yada, yada, peanut butter. Anyway, here we go. Thank you. Thanks a lot. How's it going? Great. It's nice to be here. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. Let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? You know what I mean? Three out of four marriages go right down the shitter, right? If you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't going to open, you'd be like, yo, fuck that. I'm not going. <laughs> Odds. I have a 75% chance of splatting on the ground. But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it, right? They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? Awesome! This is gonna be great! No, I'm just kidding. I love women. I'm just not compatible with them. <laughs> no, they got too much energy for me. And notice I said, they always have to be doing something. You know, like they can't like take a day off, you know? You can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just like <laughs> see that open day. They're like, oh my God, let's fucking fill it up with shit. <laughs> <laughs> they just come at you with like one horrible idea after another. They have the worst ideas. They do. You have to get to this one, they'll be like, you want to go to brunch? You want to go to brunch on Sunday? <laughs> Inside, you're like, fuck you, no! You can't uh, say that. You keep her happy, right? So what do you do? You agree? Yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $52 for eggs? Now you're thinking. <laughs> then we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs, you know, like, is that pesto? <laughs> is that pesto in your omelet? Right, right. Oh, <laughs> I was taking this girl recently, she was like really into like women's issues, you know? Because women always go on TV, you know, they say all they want is to be treated exactly like guys. But if you listen to them, they don't. All they want is the good shit of being a guy. They're cherry picking. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet, right? Like you just can start picking out stuff, like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie? Fuck that. You can keep that. <laughs> this is nice. That's yucky. That's icky. Hey, come on, people. You can't choose. This girl gives me shit. She goes, well, why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids. <laughs> check it out like yes he does have a knife <laughs> anytime there's a hostage situation who do they negotiate for well at least let the women and children go <laughs> what about me you think i want to stay in the vault so 20 other sweaty guys sharing a bag of peanuts you know praying to god i'm not the hostage who gets dragged out by the psycho with a gun to my head as he's asking the cops for a helicopter which i know he's not gonna get right i know he's not getting a helicopter so i'm not gonna make idle conversation with the 38 to my head going, dude go for a rent a car i think you should go for the rent a car <laughs> see what i'm saying where are all those feminists then you can't find them there are no feminists in a house fire the most hardcore feminist, you know, some chick right in your face, you chauvinistic son of a bitch, you know, little short, little haircut, you know. Second those flames break out, she'll twist those little hairs into pigtails. Dude, I'm just a girl. This dude is nuts. Oh, that's why I hated that movie, the, uh, the Titanic. Every girl I meet thinks that movie's romantic. It's irritating. I think, that was really romantic, don't you think? It's like, no! 
It's a fucking horror film. <laughs> and they're always like, why? I'm like, because all the guys die. <laughs> See, you're watching it trying to relate, going, who would I be? You'd be that chick floating away in the big piece of luggage, right? <laughs> I'm watching it going, who would I be? I'd be that dude when, like, the boat breaks in half, that dude who, like, falls straight down and bangs off the shit and goes in the water. <laughs> That's who I'd be. I'd be wearing a tuxedo, not because I wanted to, but you wanted to dress up that night, right? <laughs> I'd be falling. I'd be falling the whole way down going, I should have fucked that chicken first class. <laughs> right, listen, I'm out of time. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Oh, man, that was pretty good, man. I enjoyed that right there. This dude is absolutely nuts, man. I, this, his stuff is funny to me. I know some folks ain't going to like that. But, again, folks, he did it all for, all for laughs, okay? So, anyway, uh, enjoy this. I'm going to keep this thing rolling on, guys. I really don't have nothing to say on this. Um, it was all for laughs. But I want to let y'all know something. After this video ends and it says don't watch beyond this, don't watch beyond this. There is nothing. People think there's like an Easter egg or something like that or some type of end credits. If it was end credits, I usually let you guys know, don't. I usually say in the parentheses end credits, but there will be none, okay? So I'm going to move on to the next thing, folks, all right? I will see you guys in just a bit. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus.